Guys, welcome back to ow to a brand spanking new video, and today we're reacting to this is how AT was formed. Yo, my hair is looking weird, bro. You know, what? I'm for those who've been watching my channel for a while, I'm sure they know my hair is normally curly. It's like straight right now. Look at this. It's like all straight except for like on the sides. It's really weird that. That's what happened when I took a freaking shower. In fact, I, t I literally showered last night, and then this morning I showered right away, hoping it would go back to being curly. Yeah, it, it didn't happen. It, it did not happen. And I kind of hate my hair right now, so. <laughs> uh, anyways, sort of reacting to this is how ATs was formed. This came out uh, five days ago, and apparently I was procrastinating. I thought it only came up like two days ago. But uh, apparently it was five, so yeah, I did that. Um, but anyways... <laughs> Let's do this. Three, two, one. Bah. Hey, Wave. This is Internet's Nathan, and in this video, we're gonna cover how ATs was formed, from childhood to training life and to debut. I'm learning how ATs was formed. But before we get this video started, I just want to say I dropped my first official merch. You can get your own limited edition Wave merch T-shirt. Okay, I just want to say, jacket, guys, all kinds um, of different options. Link down. I did not realize this was the kind of channel I was watching. <laughs> all right, guys, give me all your money. Oh shit! Okay, Han Jun. Yeah. Growing up, Hong Jun was already a workaholic and perfectionist. Hong he wouldn't Jun? attend school as much as all he did was work in the studio. Have he I been saying Han Jun wrong? An idol to Is it really Hong Jun? And help influence others to do what they want. Since then, he joined Sims Academy until training in KQ Entertainment, a label that created the 80s. Hong Jun's first big appearance was a part of the YG Survival Show Mix 9 where a boy and a girl group of trainees competed to debut. And his rank on the show after the showcase was 7th place, but finished 42nd in the end unable to make the debut team. But it was a bit of a blessing in disguise as the winning group of Mix 9, their debut was cancelled by YG Entertainment. Hong Jun went back to KQ huh. Entertainment, composed 40 songs and wrote for his team, one time even recording one song over 1,395 times. That's insane. He finally debuted and was named the leader of ATs. Song Hwa was born in 1998 in Korea. Starting out his career by passing his audition for KQ Entertainment, he auditioned as a rapper, but after being accepted, he later changed his position to vocalist. Sung Hwa also tried out to be a part of the Survivor Show Mix 9, but didn't make the cut. But in 2018, Sung Hwa was able to make his debut as the vocalist in 80s. Yoon Noh was born in 1999 in Korea. Hmm. Yoon Noh was a student in the famous high school SOPA, Korea's School of Performing Arts. Yoon Noh then joined Big Bang Seungri Dance Academy with a friend of his of five years, another 80s member, Mingi. Afterwards, together they both were accepted oh, in Toy cool. Dance and Plug In Music Academy. Ultimately, joining KQ Entertainment, Yoon Noh also auditioned for Mix 9, however, he wouldn't pass and didn't join the show. Yet, with all of his experience and talent in dance, Yoon Noh became the main dancer of well, it's a lot of them additions in for the one group, Korea. Mix 9. He used to train with An Hyung Sop, a previous contestant on Produce 101 Season 2, that then later debuted in a duo. At one point, Yoo Sung was a big hit trainee. He would leave the label though, as he was eager to debut, and Big Hit didn't debut their new boy group, TXT, until years later. From there, Yoo Sung joined KQ Entertainment. He would be another member that didn't make the show Mix 9, but he did make his debut in 80s as the lead dancer. Sun was born in Oh my gosh, in so Korea. many! He has them. a natural ability and gift in dance. As Leah Kim, the famous choreographer from One Million Dance Studio said after seeing his pre-debut performance, he can do more than the extent of the man's body. At this degree, his strength and flexibility is very likable. He can play a center role in the performance. As a trainee in KQ, San was the fourth member to not make the cast in Mix 9. San then became the moonmaker and vitamin of the group, debuting in 80s. 
Ningi was born in 1999 in Korea. He said what led him to want to become an idol was having a strong interest in rapping and dancing. Ninki was a former trainee of Maro Entertainment, a relatively small company. And like I said, Ninki and Yuno practice in Sungri Dance Academy and Joy Dance and Plug-in Music Academy, although in a different location than where Yuno was accepted. Ninki was also a member that was in Mix 9, who started at 23rd in the showcase but dropped to 62nd towards the end of the show. In the end, Ninki debuted as the main rapper of 80s. Wu Young was born in 1999 in Korea. He admitted he wanted to be an idol when he got a great feeling of performing on a school stage and dreamed uh. of performing on even bigger ones. Woo Young was another member that was an ex-big hit trainee. He would leave the label to follow Yun Sung. Both Woo Young and Yun wow. Sung were both friends who wanted to debut together. Oh, and Big Hit's such a big company. That's so weird. Woo Young also participated in Oh, I'm, it's so Sadly, cool to learn this. He went 57th on the showcase and dropped even lower at 72nd. That didn't bring him down as he debuted as the main dancer in 80s. Last but not least, the maknae Jung Ho was born in 2000 in Korea. Now, Jung Ho Jung first talent wasn't actually in K-pop. Jung Ho was a very ambitious athlete in school. He participated in track, soccer, and just generally likes working out, unlike me. But over time, he started to love singing more than playing sports. And so he was accepted in KQ and made the show Mix 9, where he ranked 27th at the showcase but then fell to 43rd. Still, Jung Ho fulfilled his dream by debuting with his group, 80s. That's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed, please get this video. Okay. Um, if you enjoyed, give this video a like. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a really interesting video to watch. Lots was learned there, I would say. I I can't believe some of them were ex big hit trainees. Uh, just that really shocked me very much. Um, a lot of them were like all from this one show, which is really <laughs> crazy. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, peace.